We are not sending a clear signal to the Iranians. And that's when you look at our policy from Tehran towards Washington as opposed to Washington to Tehran, here's what you see. We have a number of sanctions. I got a board here. As you know, in 1996, the Congress passed the Iran Sanctions Act and said if you invest more than $20 million in the Iran energy sector, you're going to get hit with sanctions. The Congressional Research Service has now listed all of these companies in uh, potential violation of the Iran Sanctions Act. And this is uh, just the Congressional Research Service did that. Your team said, we'll answer the Congress back. About 60 Republicans and Democrats sent you a letter within 45 days. Feltman had that. We're now about 20 days after that. Um, if the Iranians see that sanctions on the books are not enforced, then how would any future sanction in any way be, be a serious one? Second, just two blocks from your office on the seventh floor of the State Department, the World Bank is still cutting checks to the Iranian Finance Ministry. So the last administration and this administration are still allowing money to go from the World Bank to the Iranian Finance Ministry. Wow, what a confused signal that Ahmadinejad gets, getting a check cut from 1818 H Street in Washington, D.C., uh, two blocks from the White House. Uh, and last, um, we understand that, you know, 400 members of Congress have now backed the gasoline quarantine legislation in the House and Senate. My word from your team is we will not um, uh, su support a gasoline quarantine absent a U.N. Security Council uh, resolution. And with Bill Burns, I took him through a thought experiment. I said, I remember during the Clinton administration when President Clinton very wisely waited for the U.N. Security Council to approve our action in Kosovo before taking military action against uh, Yugoslavia. And he nodded and said yes, and I said, that is absolutely wrong. President Clinton did not wait for the UN Security Council. The entire victory in Kosovo would have never happened if we had waited for the UN Security Council. There was no Security Council resolution possible. And President Clinton wisely did not wait for the gridlock in New York to stop him from saving two million uh, Kosovars. And so my question to you is, how about actually enforcing the Iran Sanctions Act against the 25 companies that we've already clearly identified a potential violation? How about cutting off World Bank funding to the Iranian Finance Ministry, which is going on right now? And how about cutting loose from the UN Security Council, repeating the great success of your husband, and actually implementing uh, measures which will succeed as they did in Yugoslavia? In Iran, um, we did make a preliminary report uh, to the Congress in early February. We will follow that up with a classified briefing. Um, I have taken uh, the responsibilities to uh, examine uh, the situation very carefully, and that is exactly what we're doing. Uh, there wasn't any uh, uh, such uh, inquiries uh, before uh, in the last uh, eight years. There was only one finding in the prior administration. Um, so we are going to uh, fulfill uh, the responsibility of looking at it and consulting with the Congress as to, you know, what the, uh, the out outcome should be. Um, and I think that uh, we'll be having a, a, a briefing in a classified setting, which is the appropriate uh, forum for that. Thank you. And I just hope we follow up. That imagine how confused Ahmadinejad is when he gets a check from the World Bank from the Obama administration.